Hey guys, how are you doing? Max here with Pet Zone Tropical Fish, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys a pretty flower horn and talk a little bit about them. As you can see here, this is a golden base comfa flower horn. Now, all these flower horn come from overseas, <clears throat> and they are line bred by specific types of breeders that want to bring out certain traits such as color, shape, and head size, as you can see here. He is a very active fish. Now, flower horn have been hybridized since the early 90s by different varieties of cichlids, mostly the uh, Amphilophus and the Vieja cichlid. There's also been other secret genetics crossed in different varieties and breeds to make them unique in their own ways. Now, as you can see here, this fish appears white. Now, if you're familiar with flower horn, you know that the flower horn gets something called purling. And the purling are little shiny spots and lines that cover the fish's body. Now, typically, they will be mostly colored in red or yellow or something like that and have those little tiny spots and lines on them. This fish is called a merged pearl fish. And what that means is those little lines and spots have grown and merged together to such a degree to where they completely cover the fish, making a very unique variety of flower horn. Now, some people have preferences as far as how they like their pearls. Some like small dotted pearls. Some like merged pearls. Now, the interesting thing about these types of fish with merged pearls is they have that unique look. And the pearls, the white pearling themselves, as you can see, is more of a shiny luster to them. Very cool. Now, this is still a relatively young flower horn, maybe about two years old or so. And as you can see, he's not too big compared to my hand. Now, these fish are incredible. A lot of fun, a lot of personalities. Some of my favorite things about them is the way they interact with their owner. As you can see here, he is just ready to hang out and have some fun. He's already been fed, so he's not hungry. He's just interested in his, uh, communicating with me, his owner, because I love him and take care of him. Now, the flower horn are unique in that they are made of very aggressive fish. So, therefore, we like to keep these guys solitary in order for them to maintain their health as if they get beat up or have any scratches, bacterial uh, infections could harm these guys as they are hybrids. They do get sicker easier and also to form their body without stress. This allows their shape to be full. As you can see here, the head has grown very nicely. Now, they do not just grow like that. You have to condition them for this. Now, the way we condition them is uh, we have warm water. These guys like very warm water, 84 to 86 degrees. I have this guy at 86 degrees. I would suggest keeping your fish around 85 or 86 if you want them to have a nice form body and head like this as well as their color. Now, that warmer temper, temperature will also kill any bad bacteria at a certain uh, temperature. It does grow below 78. So keep these guys high. I would say 85, 86. They'll be happy and healthy and fully formed bodies. Now, another thing with these guys is they need a good maintenance and well-cycled tank. As you can see here, there's not a whole lot in the fish tank. This allows me to keep this tank completely clean and also in best condition. Not to mention there are no sharp objects for him to ram his head or get cut or hurt on. These are very important things to consider when keeping a flower horn as it's not really about how the tank looks, but how the fish looks. That is the thing with the flower horn. They are a centerpiece prize fish, so they are the main part of the tank that matters. Other than that, you can see here I have some crushed coral. Now these guys do like a little bit higher pH and hardiness, so that helps maintain that little bit of that keep it in there <clears throat> another thing that's helpful with these guys is adding in salt just a little bit of that aquarium salt with the water changes helps keep them happy and healthy now another big thing here as you can see i have this is just a simple way to do it put some cardboard on, on a top with uh some egg crate now what this does is it help maintain um the temperature it keeps it at a stable rate that means it does not fluctuate whenever flower horn have temperatures that are constantly fluctuating it causes them to not be at optimal condition now you may see their head shrink or maybe they lose a bit of color this is definitely due to the lack of optimal conditioning and the temperature so they need a steady temp 
keep that steady temp, keep a top on there and keep that temp steady. And they will stay happy and healthy and well formed. Now there's lots of fun ways to groom these guys. Grooming is a is a type of play. Grooming is a type of play that helps these guys exercise and have fun. Here's a method. You get something like this. This is called a grooming stick. Just a little picture of a flower horn that they see as another fish. <clears throat> now this way they're able to work out their aggression, move around and exercise. And it's a fun way you play with them and get them to be happy and healthy as well. There's that method. Some people also like to put a blood parrot in because the blood parrot has that specially deformed shaped mouth so it cannot attack back. <clears throat> Another method is by getting a mirror. Get a cool little mirror. You stick the mirror right here. And they will see the mirror and they play in it. They think they see a fish, but really they see themselves and they fight it through the mirror. A really fun way to get them active and you know, working out that aggression. Now, important part of keeping flower horn is their diet. We cannot feed these guys any type of live fish as they may carry parasites and they will get these fish sick very easily if they have them. So if you intend to feed them live fish, make sure you uh, they are of your own stock and you are 100% sure that they have no parasites. And even still, I would suggest not to do it. Now, what we do is we feed these guys specialized types of foods. We carry these. We love this one. Now, these types of food are specially designed for flower horn, giving them beautiful coloration, optimal health, and the appropriate diet. Definitely suggest sticking to one type of pellet that keeps your fish happy and healthy that they like. You can go through a few and try the different varieties. Uh, I have a few different varieties that I'd like to try as well. Um, that just kind of keeps them happy and healthy and trying new things. You can find out which one works best for the type of fish that you have in their genetics. We have some beautiful flower horn currently. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'll start getting working on some updates of our current stock. We have some beautiful fish as well. Some new stuff we haven't seen in a while we're excited about. As well as many beautiful plant updates. So this has just been a quick little update on a flower horn, guys. We have some beautiful flower horn. If you're interested in keeping a fish like this, we'll update you here soon with that video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy fish keeping, my friends. This has been Max with Petzone signing out.